Bismillah Rahman Rahim. So today we often see many countries elect ladies as their president or prime minister and stuff like this. But the question is, is, is it really allowed in Islam or not? So the answer for this question is found in the book Sunan at Tirmizi, Hadith number 2262. So here we see this hadith in which we see that when the Kisra, Kisra was the king of the Persian Empire. He died and they elected his daughter as their next successor or king, whatever you call it. And then the Prophet said this thing. People will never succeed who give their leadership to a woman. So this means whenever we give the rule, whenever we give the power of the whole country to a lady, then definitely that nation will never succeed. So this means that we can never elect any woman as our president or prime minister. They can take other roles, but not this in the role, uh, role of leadership. Some of you may think why this is not allowed for women. What is the wrong with them? So this for Muslims, we want to do many things and we often feel that if I do this thing, there is nothing wrong in it. But I don't do these things because Islam does not allow me to do these things. So whatever Allah commands us to do, there is definitely something good for us in it. So we must listen and obey it, just like in the Holy Quran, Samina wa Atana. So our job is to listen and obey whatever command Allah gives us, whether we understand it or whether we don't understand it. So this means we cannot elect or appoint any lady as our Prime Minister or President. Hadith is written here. You can pause the video and you can read the complete Hadith here as well. See you all next time, inshallah. Rabbana taqabbal minna inna kanta sami'ul alim. Maas salama.